guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing, we truly appreciate it. We're back at it with another full self-driving beta video. 10.4 is what we're on. And we're gonna reproduce another scenario that we touched upon, which is a real world scenario, which is what happens if you're driving your car and you need to go to the hospital for whatever reason. Uh, maybe you're feeling ill, maybe a woman went into labor, maybe some kind of pain has ensued, a heart attack or something mild that you could effectively drive yourself to the hospital, but would like to, the car to, to be able to support you as opposed to pulling over and calling 911. Obviously, if it's an emergency, pull over and call 911 if you can. But if, you, if it's not that, that big of an emergency, a little bit more milder, then this is where full self-driving could come in handy for you. Could come in handy for you. So that's what we're gonna explore today. Um, because of the path that the hospital resides in, we're not gonna use full self-driving right now to get on the highway. We're gonna go a little bit further so we can force it down another path, which can bring up some pretty unique, interesting uh, scenarios for us, okay? So we're gonna come in here. We're gonna get on this ramp. This person knows how to drive. And we're gonna engage just past the next exit. Now again, the use case here is just really focusing on uh, emergency situation that's not critical that would allow you to be able to drive to the hospital to get to the hospital uh, safely and effectively leveraging the car to assist you okay if anyone's had an emergency like that let me know in the comments we'll go up a little further just past this next exit and then we will engage and see what the car does Okay, just past this next exit. Okay, so full self-driving beta 10.4. We're gonna activate it right now because it wants to go on this one. We're gonna activate it when it gets when it gets right past this exit. And now we'll engage. Navigate on autopilot instantly goes in. And we're off to the races, and then we'll get the city streets version of that once we get onto local roads. All right, so now hopefully today we get a better day than the last time. We had lots of sun last time. People had problems seeing the visualization. Hopefully you can see the visualization just fine now. Uh, if not, definitely uh, use a, use a uh, television if you can, uh, or zoom in on YouTube. You can zoom in a little bit depending on the phone that you have. Okay, so I can pretty much show you what this looks like uninterrupted in terms of having my hands off just to let you know what the experience like on Navigate on Autopilot, which again has been rock solid. And then the next exit, we're gonna we're gonna get ready to get off. And it's gonna be a pretty sharp turn. In this area, we have these exits, which they locally call jug handles, uh, where you sort of come off on a very steep turning angle. And Tesla do a pretty good job of handling it, but what they don't handle very well, and again, I'll turn the speed down, slowing down aggressively, getting over, is getting over into this exit lane without being aggressive. That was pretty aggressive. Better than before, I can actually say. Slowing down quite a bit here and taking this turn. I'm gonna to try to keep my hand. I'm gonna try not to disengage the yoke. It's quite sensitive the last time we tried it. I'm gonna just use one hand to keep it compliant and hopefully I don't get any dings as a result of that. Okay, so I've, I'm, I'm in a situation, maybe I'm a, I'm a female and my, my water just broke or I've gone into labor, whatever the case may be. Stop sign here and then we have traffic coming. Let's see how it takes this. Creeping up a little further. No one's coming. And we're good to go. Nice merge. Excellent job. Lane lines got a little bit murky, but it's still extrapolating where the lane lines are, which is good. And then from here on out, the lane line should be pretty clear. Pretty clear. So let's see what happens. hard to see over the road. So as it crests this hill, it does a pretty good job of acknowledging where the road goes. Now it has to fork here. Let's see what happens. Makes the appropriate turn. Excellent job. And it's not even hunting either. That's what I like about this. It's not hunting. Now, speed limit detector here, just to remind you of your speed, it's not going to adhere to this, but I will. I'll try to drive it down a little bit to 35 is actually the speed. And again, this is very tough. I can swipe it up and down and get to five miles an hour over for sure. But it was, uh, it should be a lot easier. It's a lot easier to do in the old 
Model S with the stock where you just pull the stock and automatically goes to your offset. So it's a little bit jarring to have to hunt for the speed limit and making sure you press the right thing here with the scroll wheel. Coming up to a light, looks good. It's going into a, to follow the route. Okay, I don't know what's happening here, but I'll let it do its thing. Veers back over dangerously, not good. Did not signal either. So we need to work on that. Maybe I have to press this button here. Okay, slowing down herky-jerky right now. Not sure what's going on. Okay, so these are sort of winding roads, not necessarily country roads, but just winding uh, suburban roads rather than the urban environment uh, that we sort of went through the last time. So it's a little bit different. A little bit more relaxed again lane lines are pretty clear speed limit is pretty clear and this is a pretty chill day in terms of traffic and congestion so right now autopilot is slash full self-driving is, is is working like a rock star right now except for that little mishap over the light that we just passed okay i'll take my hand off and just you know hover over here just so you can see what it's doing by itself Pretty easy stuff. This is probably something reminiscent to a lot of different areas uh, around the country. So nothing crazy here. But again, if I'm impaired somehow, some way, some shape, some form, Tesla can now help me. This Tesla could help me get to the hospital, get to my emergency room uh, with help with and letting them know, obviously, hey, we're, I'm on the way to the emergency room right now. Uh, please stand by. And so Tesla can get me there pretty safely. Now in a world, in the future, obviously, you wouldn't have to have your hand on the wheel and it can do this on its own, which would be awesome. But at the very least, if, if you're not so impaired that you can't hold the wheel, I think you can make it. A little bit of a merge coming up here. Nice little scenic drive. Autumn slash fall coming in. Looks nice. keep my hand on, it's asking me to apply some force. I'll, I'll temper with the system just to make sure that, you know, when it's clear like this, I can take my hand off the wheel to see, you know, what the car can do. Obviously when cars are coming, people are involved. I definitely want to be more vigilant, uh, overly cautious in that case. Excellent job. Gets in the appropriate lane. Didn't signal again. Hard braking and didn't signal. Um, I don't like that. It should definitely signal when it looks to find which lane it's going to get into, um, depending on what it's doing. Um, that, that's definitely an, an issue that needs to be resolved uh, ASAP. If there's no lane markings or a single lane that goes into multiple lanes, the car needs to signal in which lane it's going to get into, left or right etc. even before the lines appear, just so it, it alerts the driver as to uh, what, what needs to happen. So it alerts the drivers behind us and to the left and right of us what we're going to do, and what our intentions are. Someone pretty close to me behind me because the car broke so hard as well. Luckily, he was aware and didn't run into the back of me. But again, dangerous situation that we can hopefully work on and get resolved. Green light, go. We're off. Now this particular uh, emergency room does have a path in the navigation. If you can actually see that here, it looks like there's a path in there. I'm curious to know if it's going to bring me all the way into the emergency room. That would actually be awesome um, to bring you all the way in again, depending on the traffic conditions. Let's see what happens coming up here. 
a little bit nervous just because I don't know what's going to be happening. Something could be happening here. We don't know until I can see it. Then I feel a lot better. Okay, so it looks pretty clear and it looks like it can take this turn and go, go into the emergency room. Let's see how far into the emergency room it's going to go. Turn signal on now. Good job. And it's going to take this turn. And for this, I will have my hand off the wheel so it, I don't disturb it and knock it out. So it's going to make a turn going slow. Please don't curb the wheels. Please don't curb the wheels. Good job. Excellent job. So I'm all the way in and it signals again. This is an excellent job. Excellent use case here where it actually took me all the way into the emergency room. Look at that. Perfect. Checking for traffic. I don't know which way it wants to go. I'm going to stop it here because it says do not enter, but I think it wanted to go this way. So I'm going to stop it there. But that's a great job, a great use case. Again, just not driving aimlessly around. Definitely want to use practical use cases where this is valuable. Um, so again, driving, medical emergency, you can always go to uh, the navigation and say, hey, drive me to the hospital, the nearest hospital. It'll do that automatically. Okay, just so you know what that looks like. Drive me to the hospital. Now it pulls up the nearest hospitals to where you are. All right. So these are very valuable tools, very, very valuable use cases for uh, full self driving, where, again, if you get into a little bit of a mild medical emergency, you need to get to the hospital. Autopilot can help you along the way. So elderly people, disabled people, uh, people who just happen to incur some kind of medical emergency. You know, they could you know, potentially have a heart issue, uh, a breathing issue. They might not have their medication with them, whatever the case may be. I'm not going to think of all the scenarios, but you understand what I mean. But again, let me know your thoughts. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Uh, what, how valuable this would be in this use case. Obviously, it's not for every use case, but for this use case, how valuable would it be for you to be able to get some assistance here uh, from full self-driving, from your Tesla, to be able to get you to the hospital? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Until the next time, enjoy your day. Enjoy your Tesla.